Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Marcello Valdatta from Italy. I'm very sorry to uh, not be in Japan with you, um, but thanks to the technology, I, I will have the chance to make my presentation. So, uh, we can start. Okay. I will talk about uh, what effect has the participation to the unisex activities, in particular to the Mission Air Contest, uh, um, on the career of me and my team. Um, so, a brief introduction, I'm an engineering, aerospace engineering student at the University of Bologna. I'm a part of the former uh, Space Robotic Research Group at University that is, was characterized by very strong hands-on education. Uh, we did different um, projects uh, that we carry on even with ESA, in particular on Rexus versus program. I will talk a little bit about it. And uh, we also did different um, publication and EAC presentation. So the first time that we meet the unisex was the, um, uh, at the SEMBO conference in Lithuania, in Vilnius, organized by the Lithuanian Space Association. Uh, where we were present people from um, UNICEF that presented the Mission Idea Contest program and in particular there was the second edition so Mission Idea Contest 2 and uh, we saw it and we decided to participate um, so we make the application and we, we get the final and uh, we presented um, an idea about the uh, um, um, ADR mission of mean uh, active debris removal mission for uh, Space debris based on polyuretanic foam and um, to use the foam or like a link between the cleaning satellite or to increase the air to mass ratio for the deorbit the, the debris with the aerodynamic drag. So it was a great opportunity because um, this idea was presented even to ESA that um, uh, led to us to uh, participate to Rexus Rexus program and launch uh, um, test mission on uh, Sunday rocket Rexus 12 but I say I was very important to participate to the mix shoe because it was the first time that was presented the um, not the, the idea or the, the test of the uh, of the material or the form and so on but was just the, the whole mission so it was also very very interesting to, for us to have a feedback from the from the panel and uh, even if we didn't want uh, it was very interesting to, to for and very important for us to be there and with MIG2, we, we start to have a very good connection. Um, so, oh, this is the, the foam, uh, this is the launch of the rocket, and this is the presentation to the MIG2. So it was very important, even uh, for ESA point of view, to give this presentation. They was quite happy to know. So, uh, what, what uh, MIG2 bring to us? The team was uh, sponsored by NPC, a company that was interested in space, but um, with a different core business. So. Uh, basically with money to, to, to develop our ideas. Um, uh, we attend to uh, various presentations in that um, uh, during the MIG-2, in particular about the Canadian Satellite Design Challenge. We talked with Larry Rivet, this organization of the, um, of, the, of the contest, and thanks to him we were invited to participate to Canadian Satellite Design Challenge with the uh, Polytechnic of Montreal. And it was very important because uh, our team it was the first not Canadian team in the um, allowed in the competition. Um, so um, the CSDC um, was characterized by the international team work for us. Uh, there was some lecture from professional board to, of uh, NDA, a uh, very important company in Canada that um, was leading also the Canada Arm uh, project for the ESS. So there was the reviews of the um, of the project and the workshops, and we performed the um, en environmental test at the Florida Laboratory at Canadian Space Agency. So it was very very important to have the opportunity to participate to the SDC, and it will be not um, possible without the participation to make activity to show what uh, were. Um, uh, we were was doing uh, and uh, what we can do, um, what, what is our potential. Um, so what's really, really important. So here you can see a review uh, of, the, of the, the, the mission and you can see us in the, in the computer because we were abroad, we were not in Canada in that occasion. 
So this is in the uh, David Florida laboratory uh, with the assembling of the satellite in the clean room. Is the final satellite after the vibration, and this is the finish of the Canadian Satellite Design Challenge. The competition we get the third place, so it was very important even for the Polytechnic of Montreal um, because it was quite. Um, there was um, there was the first project in space for them, so uh, it was very interesting to to work with a, a team with the, uh, different skills. So after that, we participate even to uh, pre mission the contest three workshop, uh, and again there was international cooperation with Joao de la Muta. Uh, it was expected to present the idea with key information at the contest three um, this week, but um, at the beginning, uh, but. Um, he was not uh, available at the beginning, so um, we had the opportunity to, to participate anyway to Michigan Contest 3, but with another team and another idea. So, um, again, the uh, Michigan Contest 3, again, the presentation with videos from experts is really, really, really important. Um, you can really uh, measure what is your level, what you can do, and how you can improve. Uh, for me, is the um, is one of the, the best uh, uh, motivation to participate to the to the mission year contest to to prove your idea and to have a feedback. So we have new topic of study because um, uh, the, the things that we did with uh, Joao was not the, 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 the same that we were uh, to say used to do. Uh, experience again and new contacts very important very important contacts. And the first UNICEF global meeting was also very important uh, to know what the other country were, were, were doing from, uh, even from an educational point of view and um, what the project of the stud students and so on and so on. So even again new connection uh, that is very important in this field. Uh, so this photo from the last presentation. So what the Premix uh, 3 bring to us? Um, relevant experience to participate to Kubi 50 mission or Samayo because um, we, we were contacted by University of Rome and uh, to participate to Kubi 50 mission that is a European mission that we put in orbit a, a constellation of 50 satellite and we provide the payload for uh, the QB50 of um, University of Rome that is named is Ursa Mayor. So this also thanks to the mix because uh, we have um, uh, um, something to show that uh, we were already working with um, uh, not just our team but with, uh, in cooperation with different team in, um, in bigger project. Uh, it's bringing the first Italian representative for UNICEF, Professor Fabio Santoni. Um, and there will be new collaboration for MIG-3 because uh, uh, even if Joao was not uh, available at the beginning uh, we meet some, uh, somebody from uh, um, SPASC from uh, Slovenia and from that we started uh, this mission that will, will be presented by, uh, by my colleague Klimen um, uh, at, the, um, at the Mission Dia Contest and again new international scenario collaboration. So uh, to participate to uh, UNICEF activity was very, very important for us. So what would be, could be the future of UNICEF from my point of view? So uh, I think this uh, uh, Facebook uh, group is very important, but it should be open also LinkedIn and why not an, a forum, an internet forum? Uh, the forum could be very, very interesting to share in documents, uh, to maybe to make some agreements, some collaboration for presentation of paper, of idea, and so on. Uh, it would be very interesting to organize uh, lectures around the world, um, managed by UNICEF, with a very good prof, uh, skilled, uh, and uh, on particular argument that, or maybe topic that uh, are not so common in university. Um, international high-level education projects, so why not you can uh, not organize some, some project altogether and ends on project, especially maybe Kansas, Sony Rocket, or why not CubeSat. So we are the, um, and we have to be the proportion of this community of UNICEF uh, as like student and to not put limits on our idea. So uh, if we are a lot, why don't put all together, um, try to, to take some, uh, some funding from our respective uh, space agency it will be just a small part, but all together could be enough maybe to build uh, the first unisex satellite or something like that. So, of course, it's something a bit ambitious, but 
um, from some point that we need to start. So uh, I think that the future of Unicef will be they will be great, and this um, uh, this meeting and uh, this conference uh, and these events are really really important for all the people that can participate to that. So thank you for your attention. This is my email. If somebody wants to share ideas and so on. And thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you, bye bye, and thank you.